What's happening to Korea's bathhouses? Korean bathing culture can be traced back to the introduction of Buddhism. In Buddhism, it's important to purify the body. So during the Koryo dynasty, people took their clothes off before washing and took baths three to four times a day. In the Joseon dynasty, public bathing continued in valleys and streams, but due to the influence of Confucianism, people wore separate clothes to bathe in so they wouldn't have to expose their naked bodies. A bathtub full of hot water to bathe in was reserved for kings and queens in ancient times. This began to change starting in 1821 as a result of epidemic outbreaks. An illness identified as cholera based on recorded symptoms killed tens of thousands of people through 1822. It wasn't until the 1880s that people realized that maintaining better hygiene prevented epidemics. An activist named Park Yung-hyo proposed to King Gojong during the Joseon dynasty that they build large-sized public bathhouses where poor people could wash up, aware that most people couldn't afford clean water at home. Shortly after this, Koreans started building public bathhouses with a focus on the commercial side of the business. The current public bathhouses were brought in by Japan during Japanese occupation of Korea. The first opened in Pyongyang in 1924, and in Seoul after that in 1925. They weren't popular initially as people reacted negatively to being naked in front of other people, but public bathhouses called Mogyukpyeong in Korea started to gain popularity in 1945. Though the boom of apartment construction in the 1970s brought bathtubs into some homes, over half of the population in Seoul didn't have a bathtub. Even if homes did have bathtubs, only 30% of households had hot water at home in the 80s. So the culture in the 1980s and 90s was for people to go to local public bathhouses to take baths regularly. The number of bathhouses jumped from 770 in 1960 to 8,266 in 1990. The most essential feature of Mogoktang is soaking and getting scrubbed. The ability to soak your body in a bath for an extended time allows for skin to soften, and whether it's someone who works at the bathhouse or your own grandmother, having someone else around during a bath allows for you to clean places that you aren't able to reach yourself. Koreans use a coarse cloth called a tesugon or an Italy towel to do the scrubbing. The name comes from the fabric that's used to make the towel. The main material in tesugon is a viscous rayon that's imported from Italy. It was first developed by a company called Hanil Textile in 1967. Green is the most common color, but they come in pink, yellow, and blue as well. And each color signifies a different level of coarseness. Pink is the least abrasive and used for more sensitive areas like the neck, throat, and cleavage. Green is medium coarseness and most commonly used for a majority of skin types as well as body parts. Yellow is more abrasive and used for tougher body parts like knees, elbows, and feet, and blue is the most abrasive and even hard to come by, but it would be reserved for very dry, tough skin. The Sugon shrink in size once wet and are meant to be a tight fit as you exfoliate dead skin. In the 1980s, modern bathrooms and boilers started to be built in households, and the bathhouse business began to see a downturn as millennials who frequented bathhouses as children grew up. According to the Ministry of Health and Welfare, the number of public bathhouses dropped from 9,868 in 1999 to 6,911 in 2018. Today, a majority of public bathhouse patrons are elderly people who have been going to the same bathhouse for decades. During the COVID-19 pandemic, public bathhouses were classified as high-risk facilities and consequently closed for certain periods of time. According to the Ministry of Interior and Safety, a total of 707 public bathhouses had closed from 2020 to May 2022. The void left by the closure of public bathhouses saw the start of single-person bathhouse facilities. The vibe of these facilities, that can be found mainly in Seoul, are a stark difference from traditional public bathhouses, but preserve Korean bathing culture by offering full body scrubs.